Shalom, welcome to Tactically Torah. I am Heath Hayes, and we are reading Proverbs chapter 28. I tell you, um, 26, 27, and 28, even 29, there's, there's just so much gold within these chapters of Proverbs. <laughs> um... Listen to it, repeat it, listen to it again, sit and soak and try to marinate. If, if a statement captures your attention, listen to it, uh, try to understand it, seek out understanding. All right, 28, page 754 in the scriptures if you're following along. The wrong shall flee, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Because of transgression of the land, many are its rulers, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, right is maintained. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the Torah praise the wrong. Those who guard the Torah Strive with them. Evil men do not understand right ruling, but those who seek Yahuwah understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways. Who is rich? Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one who is perverse in his ways, who is rich. There we go. He who watches over the Torah is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. He who increases his possessions by interest and profit gathers it for him who shows favor to the poor. He who turns away his ear from hearing the Torah, even his prayer, is an abomination. Highlight that one. It's verse 9. He who causes the straight to go astray in an evil way falls into his own pit, but the perfect inherit the good. A rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. When the righteous exult, there is great comeliness. But when the wrong arise, a man is searched for. He who hides his transgressions does not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them finds compassion. Blessed is the man who always fears Elohim, but he who hardens his heart falls into evil. A roaring lion and a charging bear is a wrongdoing, is a wrongdoing ruler over poor people. A leader who lacks understanding is a great oppressor. But the hater of greed belong, prolongs his days. A man oppressed by blood guilt flees into a pit. Let no one help him. He who walks blamelessly is saved. But the perverted of ways falls at once. He who tills his land is satisfied with bread. But he who pursues vanities is filled with poverty. A man of truth has many blessings. But one in a hurry to be rich does not go unpunished. To show partiality is no good is not good. Because for a piece of bread a man would transgress. A man with an evil eye runs after wealth and does not know that poverty awaits him. He who reproves a man finds more favor afterward. 
than he who flatters with the tongue. He who robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression, he is a companion to a destroyer. He who is greedy stirs up strife, but he who trusts in Yahweh prospers. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks wisely is, a, is delivered. He who gives to the poor does not lack, but he who hides his eyes does have many curses. When the wrong rise up, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Alright guys, Proverbs 28. Bless you. Shalom.